I've been dreaming just one dream nearly all my life. Hoping, scheming, just one theme. Will you be a wife? We are going to see Beauty and the Beast. Someone has been pretty excited about this for uh, quite a while. Almost a year, probably. She was. Uh, she asked me this morning, "Do you even know how excited I am to see this?" I said, "Yeah, probably." And she goes, "Did you know I've been watching YouTube videos about it for the past like uh, two months?" I said, "No." So, um, she's been excited to say the least. But enough of this. We have to get going. We're meeting her parents and our friends, Nick and Becca, to go to the movie theater. We're going back to our college town. This movie theater is like a small family owned one. It's a lot cheaper than the big one. So we're gonna go do that now. We gotta go get our tickets. Um, I don't think Bear's coming with us. You can see he's very busy. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a great weekend and uh, you're right, right, ready to go. Beauty and the Beast in time. I'm actually afraid that she's gonna start singing during the movies and we're gonna get, and we're gonna get kicked out, but I guess time will tell. Time will tell. Currently interrupting this regularly scheduled get in there montage um, to show you how much of a nerd she is, Kristen is. She currently has a rose. She's got a rose pinned to her shirt. You know what, I, it's, I think it's nice how excited she is for this film, but I think she's setting herself up for disappointment. Uh, I'm not. I, <laughs> I know very much how the story goes very, very well. Okay. My prediction and Nick's prediction is we're gonna watch it and we're gonna go, yeah, that was Beauty and the Beast. So I, I'm not, I, I'm just excited to go do something fun. But anyway, back to the, your regularly scheduled montage. We're gonna have to, the show doesn't start for another two hours, but we're just thinking if we should probably get our tickets early because it might be busy, I don't know. Too. Yep. <laughs> okay, okay. Nerd, nerd alert. Also, right next to this is this Shirley's popcorn. We're just kind of killing time. We got to find this health food store. We've, I've actually never been inside, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. You what? never been inside no. here? No. Oh, okay. Now then, after you, my ass. Then, what did you, so you think? I really liked it. Hmm? I really liked it a lot. Was everything you dreamed? It was, it was pretty darn good. It was pretty, I'm definitely not disappointed. I, did I you liked it. Did you cry? Um, almost. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? What did you think? It was, I was really surprised, but spoiler alert, the beast turns back into a human. I couldn't believe uh, it. Ah, you <laughs> dirty you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Good movie, go see good it. Movie. Yeah, good actors, good stuff. Uh, that's, what you, that's what happens when you aggressively <laughs> montage walk. I gotta work on that. Uh, Nick, Nick was aggressively doing a montage walk and he just dropped his phone, so he has to get better at that. We'll work on I that. learned my lesson. <laughs> All right, we may or may not see these guys again tomorrow for Sophie Blue's guy, this guy. But that train keeps on I hope so, because I love you guys. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Not you, but them. <laughs> See ya. Tomorrow we're gonna go see Stompy Blues Guy. I liked it a lot, actually. Yay. Were you singing quietly to yourself? A little bit. Oh. It was a really big treat, because, I don't know, I'm actually starting to read this book, and I can tell you guys more about it, but it's about, um, it is about being happy. I know it's really vague. I can't think of the title right now. But it had me today identify in the chapter that I read um, some things that make me happy. And some of those things include fam, um, spending time with the ones I love. That's very important to me. So that made today a really cool thing. It made it really awesome. Also, of course, making and listening to music is awesome. It's good. Um, 
I'm a spiritual person, so trying to incorporate that into my day is also important. And you guys make her happy too. You do. You guys are my you people guys. too. The doing the, the doing YouTube videos has really become a creative outlet for me, uh, almost a, a bit of a therapy session for myself and my, Kristen and. I just, I can't thank you guys enough for being a part of our journey, and I, I I truly want to just thank you because this has really enhanced my life and my happiness and helped me really get through a very, uh, this has been one of the most difficult years of my teaching career, and I really just appreciate everything you guys, all your help and support, and it, this has just been an amazing ride. The school year's coming to a close, and I'm still gonna be doing my vlogs every day in the summer. I, I'm just, I just, am, we're gonna, we're in this for the long haul. So, buckle in. It's gonna be a great ride. Thank you again. I, I don't know. I, every day I wake up and try to seize the day because I need to make some content that has some sort of value. And well, even when I think, it's funny. I was telling Kristen this the other day. Even when I think. I, I finish a vlog and I go, ah, this one wasn't my best. I don't know, it was missing something. Sometimes those are the vlogs that people like the most. So it's like, I know you guys are just supporting us like crazy. So thank you. There's gonna be a lot of great things to come in the future. Um, but yeah, so um, take some time. Take some time for yourself this weekend. Um, think about what makes you happy and do more of it. Find a gift. Share it with the world. And remember, you are worth it. See you tomorrow.